Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I have five tips to help you get better macro shots using your iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. Let's jump in with tip number one, and that is using your phone as a shade. So you move in close to your subject. Once you get to that 10 centimeter mark, your macro lens kicks in. Just make sure you're blocking out all the direct sunlight on your subject. Sometimes you might have to use your body or your arm to block out the direct sun, but this gives you an open shade, low contrast image, beautiful light is coming in from the sides and it makes for a really nice image. This works best outside, but can be done inside too. You just need to make sure you have a lot of light. Okay, tip number two, and this is another lighting tip. This is to get the high contrast, high saturated images. As you know, these phones definitely love a lot of light and they love direct sunlight. Uh, the challenge is since you're moving so close to your subjects, you might start to have that shadow, just like in from tip number one, uh, interfere with your photograph. So to avoid this, just move your camera down at an angle and just angle it down. This way you might get some cool shadows uh, experiment with different times of the day. This is one of my favorite types of macro shot just because I love all the details that you get and I love the high contrast that you get. Another way is flipping around using backlighting, uh, having the sun come directly into your lens. One thing that I would caution you about is these little lenses turn into mirrors. So when the sun hits it, sometimes you get a little reflection on your subject. So just be aware of that and make sure you're not either if it's a person blinding your subject or having these little cameras in part of your image. So tip number three, and this is composition. I know that macro photography tends to end up looking like abstract art, uh, but a well composed image definitely looks better than a non well composed image. So what I like to do is turn on the grid and then use the rule of thirds. I found that because you're using the wide angle lens, if you are focused on the center box of the rule of thirds and then have your, your interest point in one of the cross sections of that rule of thirds, it makes for a really great image. And I brought one of my photos into Lightroom just to show you some of the different overlays and different rules for composition just to give you some ideas. If you didn't get it right in the camera, there's always cropping and then there's always image rotation. So you can readjust your composition even if you've already taken the photo. Okay, tip number four, and this has to do with the back of your phone or your camera. So I use a red case for my iPhone. And what I noticed in some of my images was I had a red color cast. So what's happening is the light is reflecting off this case onto my subject. This is really handy sometimes if you want to add a little fill light. So if you have a darker phone, I happen to have the silver version. So if I take my case off, I now have a white reflector that can reflect into my subject. If you want to take away some light and have a negative fill, you could cover it with a black cloth. But if you have a dark case and a dark phone, then you could just take a white envelope or a white piece of paper and just cover up your case or your phone, make sure you don't cover the lens. And then you have your nice fill light. And then since you're moving in close to your subject, you'll see whatever color it is that you put on the bottom of your phone. Okay, and finally, tip number five, and this is what do I shoot? How do I get, find inspiration? Uh, macro photography has been around for a long time. It's relatively new to iPhones, uh, and it's a lot of fun using your phone because it's always on you. But um, there's whole professions of people that are shooting macro photography. So if you do a quick Google search, or Instagram search for macro photography, you can find pages and pages of images to help kind of get your creative juices flowing. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you like photography and you're learning and you wanna have see some more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But I'll see you in the next video.